Hello YouTube, Fuzzfinger here and welcome back to episode Ignis. Today we're going to be doing chapter 2, but because we've already seen how the battle system works, I'm going to be cutting out a lot of the battles in this particular episode, and we're just going to be focused mostly on the story of chapter 2, which means I'm not going to be giving commentary either, so sit back and enjoy it. I've tried to avoid spoilers in the title, so hopefully you've managed to find this if this is the chapter you're after to watch. And let me know what you think in the comments section. I'm actually really enjoying episode Ignis. Uh, I'd say it's my favourite episode so far of the DLC content. But as always, interested in your own thoughts. If you enjoy watching, don't forget to leave a like. And let's get on with today's show. You have a point. Then it's settled. Be quick. be of use after all. Follow me, if you're ready. Magitek armor. Indeed. You needn't waste your time. I've ordered a full retreat. They'll be gone soon enough. Very well. Why turn against the Empire? Why now? My sister's life is at stake. Is that not reason enough? Oh. The paths we tread may differ, but the blood coursing through our veins is one. So too is our calling. I must protect her. What of it? I have doubts that you were born with a prosthetic. Your doubts are correct. I once believed it was I who was destined to dispel the darkness. This is proof I was wrong. Is it safe to assume this means you'll lend Nocta hand? Don't be asinine. Our interests may have aligned in this moment, but I have not allied myself with him. The Empire is after the Ring of the Lucia. If the ring falls into the wrong hands, I fear there's little hope for either of them. Then we must hurry. We haven't much time. I'm aware. Tread quietly. I know.
keep up. Right. Don't get in my way, so long as you stay out of mine. Tell me, do you truly believe Noctis is the one true king? I believe it goes without saying. Yet when the flames of war enshrouded Tenebrae, his father spared us nary a second thought. No savior king could possibly be born of such cowardice. To aid the king is the oracle's calling, is it not? Or have you simply forgotten the pledge sworn by your forebears? I have not forgotten. All right. Well enough. You're resilient. I'll give you that. If Noctis is the true king. He still has much to prove. The darkness will not wait for his ascent. It will consume our star, and all upon it. I know. He may not yet grasp the gravity of his calling, but once he does, he will rise to the occasion and fulfill his destiny. One can only hope you're right. Move quickly. Right. <sighs> Knocked! Luna Freya. Hmm? Are you her dog? than even that of the Six, purifying all by the light of the crystal and the glaives of rulers past. Only at the throne can the Chosen receive it, and only at the cost of a life, his own. The King of Kings shall be granted the power to banish the darkness, but the blood price must be paid. To cast out the usurper and usher in Dawn's light will cost the life of the Chosen. Many sacrificed all for the King, so must the King sacrifice himself for all. Now enter into reflection, let the light of Providence shine within. <sighs> What did I just see? A vision of what's to come?
No. First, the Lucian stole from me my mother. And now they make a sacrifice of my sister! Get out of my way! What are you doing? What I should have done long ago! Ridding us of this menace! Him, and her sacrifice will have been for naught. Kill him, and you kill her hopes for the future. What hope is there yeah. for the future that my sister will never see? was ordained by the crystal. It wasn't mere happenstance. It was a mistake, one that must be corrected. All people must understand how Noct feels. Be wrapped to both parents, forced to carry on despite losing those you love. You both feel that pain. I feel nothing. Yeah. It's over! 
I always knew. That you would face your fate without fear. Fulfill your duty without regret. <laughs> but a part of me always hoped that I might see you happy one day. Your burdens lifted. Free to live and love as you please. <laughs> you would have made a beautiful bride. Even in death, the oracle does not rest. Only once the darkness is dispelled is her calling truly fulfilled. And as in life, I know she will confront that challenge with a smile on her face. Oh, sister, please don't go. Please don't leave me.